when you think about it, think of your opponent as being good at something and you're being good at something, double legs, single legs, whatever. On a scale of one to 10, you're a 10 at this, you're a two at that, you're good here, you're good there. What you wanna do is you bring out your strengths, hide your weaknesses, bring out his weaknesses, hide his strengths. If you're a, on scale one to 10, if you're a seven on a double leg or a take, takedowns are sevens and you're a five and a five on top and bottom. Not bad, okay, good for you. Okay, so what are you gonna spend most of your time doing? We'll take the guy down because you're a seven versus five on top and bottom. You wanna do be your best. Uh, however, what if he's an eight on his feet and four and a four in the top and bottom position? All of a sudden, you're going to get beat on your feet because he's an eight, you're a seven. But if you'd have wrestled him down on the mat, you'd have beat him on bottom and top because you're five on both those and he's a four. So not only do you always go with your best stuff, you have to evaluate how good he is. You think you're cat's meow on your feet and you got taken down twice in the first period. You don't want to find out in the second and third period how good you aren't on your feet. He's already better than you. Well, I'm not that good down or on the bottom top. Well, you may be better than he is. He's obviously spent a lot of time on his feet because he took you down. So he probably spent a lot less time in the downs position. So you might be able to win the match there. Here, when you're riding, I only had one. I had three boys that wrestled for me. They were all state champs. Okay. And I had one rule and one rule only. You ride opposite side. Instead of getting on the normal side in referee's position, you've got to start over here. Why? And I would think you're an idiot. Idiot spelled with an I, capital I. If you don't start learning to ride off as a side, well, I don't like it over there. Well, learn to like it. It'll take you a month of coming over here to figure out how to do it from over here, just like you did it over there. Well, why? Good question. Why? It's because over here, how good are you in stand up over here? Not as good. Uh, on a scale one to 10, if I'm over here. On this side? Yeah, you. Eight. Seven, seven or eight, yeah. Okay, he's an eight. Okay. Now, an eight inside leg stand up, comes up with the left leg, peel, posts down with his hands with the right, shit, cheer through the right hand, steps to the right, comes out through. Now, if I make him do everything back assward from what he's used to doing, if I ride opposite, we gotta step up with the inside leg, he's gotta step with the right leg instead of the left leg, he's gotta turn the right instead of the left, he's gotta shear through the left side instead of the right side. Okay, how good is he at now? Three, uh, four. Uh, three or four. Okay, have I gotten any better to beat him? No, but he's worse. He was an eight, now he's a four. Why aren't you over here? Okay, if you're a six over here, or six over here, over here, he gets away. Over here, he doesn't get away. Why are you riding normal side? Everything should be opposite side, over here. So it's not, riding opposite side doesn't make you any better, it makes him a lot worse. And you're stupid if you don't learn that. Ride opposite side. Now, if you're just obstinate, you hear, I can't do it, I'm not gonna do it, then start opposite side with your leg up over here, and then when the referee blows the whistle, Jump across to the normal side that you like. He thinks you're on this side. He has to step up with his right leg. So when he steps up with his right leg, the inside leg stand up, which he should leg stand up with. When you jump across, he's now stepping up with the same leg, the right leg, which is now an outside leg stand up, which means he's going to get chopped down to a side. So it works for you either way. Come over here, learn to ride over here. If he can't learn right away, oh, I don't feel good over there. I've never done it that way. Well, then learn here and just practice doing this. And do, 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 do. go back and forth, jump across, and you'll catch him with his pants down. That's a good thing when you're wrestling.